Despite reporting extremely strong earnings over the past few years, Visa stock is down nearly 9% over the past year and in the past month they're down 5% and they're currently trading at nearly $210 per share. So in this video, we're gonna be jumping into my stock valuation spreadsheet to calculate the intrinsic value of Visa and see if it's a stock we should be buying or selling. And on the spreadsheet, we have four different valuation models. We have Graham's valuation, we have a discounted cash flow model, a multiples valuation, and a dividend discount model. And all four of these valuations will roll into our output tab. So let's go ahead and jump over to our stock screener. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So let's go ahead and come up here and plug in Visa stock ticker and hit enter and all this data is going to update automatically and we're currently looking at a 250 day chart. Let's go ahead and zoom out and look at a 1000 day chart and we can see they've grown a pretty good bit over the past 1000 days. Something to take note of, their dividend yield is pretty small, currently sitting at just 0.71%, but their payout ratio is just 22%, giving them a lot of room to continue to grow the business while increasing their dividend payouts. Now, like I said, over the past year, they're down about 9%, but let's go ahead and jump into our first valuation model, which is Graham's valuation. And Graham's valuation is a valuation model invented by Benjamin Graham, who is the author of one of the greatest investing books of all time, The Intelligent Investor. And in that book, he laid out a formula for us to calculate the intrinsic value of a stock. And this is what we're gonna use to find its intrinsic value. And the first thing we need is the earnings per share for Visa, which we can see we have listed right here. We're then gonna multiply that by seven plus one G. Now the seven stands for the price to earnings of a company with no growth. And that G stands for the growth rate projection. Now analysts are projecting a really high growth rate for Visa. So we're plugging in a 17.5 there. We're then gonna multiply that by 4.4, which is the average yield of AAA corporate bonds. And once we have that number, we're gonna divide it by Y, which is the current yield of AAA corporate bonds, which at the time of this video, it's much higher than normal, it's 3.96. So when we plug all of this in, we can see the intrinsic value is $136 per share. Now this 3.96 is much higher than it typically has been, and that's kind of due to some of the negative sentiment around the market right now. If it was a little bit lower, like 3.3, like it was earlier this month, we can see we see a pretty large change in the intrinsic value here. It would go up to 164. Let's go ahead and move it back to what it was and go to our discounted cash flow model. And here on our discounted cash flow model, we want to find what the intrinsic value is using the future free cash flows of this company. So in order to do so, we need to project a growth rate for those future free cash flows. So anytime we do that, we want to look at the historical data and see what the growth rate has been in prior years. So what I did is I plugged in the historical free cash flows for Visa right here, which allowed me to see how much the free cash flow was growing year over year. We can see over this time period, it had an average growth rate of 28%. So that is an extremely high growth rate for the free cash flows for this company. Because of this, I'm projecting a fairly high growth rate at about 12%. I think in the near term, it could be a little bit higher than that, but over a long period of time, it'll hover closer to that 12% mark. So I use that growth rate to project the future free cash flows of the company here. And then I calculated the terminal value, which is the sum of all the future free cash flows for this company past the year 2030. I then calculated the present value of all of these future free cash flows and added them together right here. I then added the company's cash and cash equivalents and subtracted out their total debt. This allowed me to find their equity value. After I had the equity value, I divided it by the number of shares outstanding for this company, which gave me a discounted cash flow price per share of $250. Now let's go ahead and look at our multiples valuation model. And essentially the idea behind our multiples valuation model is we're gonna look at how the market is currently valuing companies that are similar in structure to Visa. So we're gonna take companies like MasterCard and American Express, and we're gonna use a price to earnings multiple and average it and apply it to Visa. So essentially we took these companies stock price, we divided it by their earnings per share, and this gave us their price to earnings multiple. I then took the average of the price to earnings multiple and I multiplied it by the earnings per share, which gave us an intrinsic value for Visa for $148 per share. Now let's go ahead and look at our dividend discount model. 
And essentially the idea behind our dividend discount model is we should be able to value a company based on how much they grow their dividends and how much they are currently paying out in dividends. So all I've done here is I plugged in how much they've been paying out in dividends over the past few years, which allowed me to see how much they pay yearly in dividends. And I can see exactly how much they have been growing their dividend over the past few years. We can see they've had an extremely high average growth rate when it comes to their dividend payments. And it's sitting at 15.73% over the past few years. And that's an extremely high average growth rate. Anytime we have a growth rate that high, we do wanna jump back over to our stock screener and check that payout ratio. And the payout ratio is currently sitting at 22%. So we know this is an extremely safe dividend. So let's go back over to our model. So I'm projecting a growth rate, pretty high growth rate for the dividends of 8.35%. It could be a little bit higher than that in the short term, but over the long term, I think it'll be closer to that 8.35% mark. I then applied a discount rate of 9%. After plugging all of this into our formula, we get a dividend discount model price per share of $250. Now let's go ahead and jump over to our output tab. And here we can see all four of our valuation models. We have grams valuation at 136, multiples valuation at 148, discounted cash flow at 250, and dividend discount model at 250 as well, which gives us an intrinsic value of $196 per share. Now we kind of have a unique situation with all four of these valuation models. Our dividend discount model and discounted cash flow are more focused on the revenue growth of the company. And we can see based on that, we get really good um, valuations for this company. And now our grams valuation and multiples valuation, a lot of it is more focused on the current market sentiment. And because of this, we can see that we are getting lower intrinsic values with these two valuation models. We still wanna take them into account because there is just a lot of downward sentiment with the market right now, which is why these two are a little bit lower. And because of this, we can see our intrinsic value is $196 per share, which is lower than the current price, which is $209 per share. Now let's go ahead and apply our margin of safety at 20%, and we can see our acceptable buy price would be $157 per share, leading us to a signal that we should not be buying this stock. Now I think, for me personally, when I look at a stock like this, I think they have phenomenal earnings, phenomenal dividend growth. So I think this is a really attractive investment for those reasons. I think in the short term, this company is going to be very reliant on how the overall market performs. If the market performs well, I think this is a company that will perform very well. I think long term, either way, this will be a really safe investment. So for example, let's say we don't even apply our grams valuation or multiples valuation. We can see the intrinsic value based purely on the earnings and dividend growth of this company is sitting at $250 per share, which makes this a much more attractive investment we can see the current price is $209 per share. So for me personally, I don't currently plan on adding shares of this to my portfolio, but it's definitely on my watch list. And if it continues to drop, I'll definitely be adding some shares in the near future. But go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are on this company in the comments below. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. I'm also getting ready to add a Discord to my Patreon page. Go ahead and join my Discord if you'd like to talk with me about stocks or anything finance or investing. I'm also now on Twitter, so if you'd like to follow along on my dividend investing journey, you can follow me there. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the channel, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.